Great atmosphere as ever. Chris John, 34 years of age, alias the Dragon. 48 and 0 with three draws in a hugely distinguished professional career, which began back in June 1998. By 2004, he fought for the WBA title against Jose Rojas. Uh, the fight declared a technical draw at the time, though, as uh, it was, there was an accidental egg clash. But he returned to win the title uh, a year later, and he has been unbeaten with it ever since. He is the longest reigning active title holder in the world. And up against him, Simpue Vetieka. The V12 is nicknamed. Nicknamed by his coach, I think, Nick Durat. A 25 2 0 from uh, Duncan Village in uh, East Cape. Slightly younger of the two, 33 years of age. So not that younger. And like Johnny's been fighting for and winning titles for the last nine years. Uh, he began as a bantamweight, though, becoming a national champion in 2005. But he's not fought the, the same class. He's not fought for the same level of uh, championship title. So really, uh, this should be Chris John's night again. It should well be. Vetiak, and perhaps not so experienced, as you've already said, Tim. But what an opportunity this is here for tonight. The Dragon, who is a national hero he's as big over there in indonesia as it was when you had at the the height of their careers like chavez going back to to mexico had a few scares down the years though as, uh, but he's overcome them all those ended in in draws really Moved up to super, mid, super featherweight, rather, in 2009 when he beat uh, Rocky Juarez, uh, which is where he's been operating ever since. And when you think about it, to have been a holder of the title, nine years, 18 successful defenses, it shows you the quality of what we're watching here. Albeit, at 34 years of age, in this type of weight division... They tend to go on old. a little bit longer, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Some good hand speed. Yeah, they tend to go on, as you say, Tim, they tend to go on a little bit longer, the heavier the weights. A couple of good body shots in this round from Vetieka. Uh, good range, good variation. Leaves himself open to that right hand and the left hook as well. A great, great, great shot. A couple of good, good combinations yeah. he's thrown here. Yeah, he's had a fair amount of success with that. That, like a lead left hook, he's had a fair amount of success with that. Well, the right hand bashing against the side of Vediaka's head, but he's taken them well enough. And there it is again. Left hook followed up by the right hand. That was a decent left hook of Vediaka's as well. He threw a couple of good shots there, uh, but better work coming from. The legend that is Chris John. Yeah, so, not, not a fighter, Tim, wasting any time sussing each other out, going, to work, going about business straight away. Well, he's had the longest, he's had his uh, trainer, rather, Chris, uh, Craig Christian, in there since 2005. Is that a cut over the eye? Little, it is. Little Nick, in the opening round. It's not good news, not, not a good sign for Chris John. No, there have been a couple of moments back a few years. Rocky Juarez in 2009 in Houston. The first one ended a draw. His last fight in April this year against uh, Husono ended after three. Declared a draw after John was cut with an accidental butt in that fight. So a cut opening up again at the end of the first round. It isn't good news. Yeah, we can see there as a result of a clash of heads that was. Well, if you look at his, the legacy that he's going to actually leave here second highest number of defenses in the history of this division behind uh, the great Eusebio Pedroza who was the king of this weight division between 78 and 85 and he could equal Pedroza's number of defenses if he wins here there's a slip there
Yeah, and he's got to reach with that uh, jab of his. There's a plenty of distance in between the two of them, and he's not landing anything. But neither fighter are landing much. It's only when they're getting close there. You begin to see uh, some of the experience and the speed, the hand speed that is still there from John. There's that little left hook again. Yeah, cheeky little left hook. Kind of turns a left, long lead left jab into it and a sweeping hook. And again, tries to follow up with the uh, right hand, but this time, Vedieka just ducking out of the way. Mm, now he's surely just pushed off balance there. And the referee does agree. Not really made much of an impression no, so no. far. Just seemed to be falling short with some of these shots. Not again. Oh, that was a good left hook though from Vedieka. He came back with a hook from the right hook then, dear John. And that just stunned him momentarily. It's a bit of a low blow. And it's a clubbing shot on the back of the neck. Then the referee should step in and warn him, which he does. Right hand, left hook. There it goes again from Chris John. Yeah, Vidyaka turned out the way. Bad idea. And again, he goes low with that shot. I'm surprised they don't get and do something with his uh, trunks at the next interval. <laughs> He's just managing to stay out the way of some of the big bombs that are coming. Yeah. Vettiek is just smartening up some of his approach work here there's as well. Indeed, there's some good counter shots coming back from Vettiek to then. Doesn't seem, be, doesn't seem to be phased or overall by this was in front of him. Vettiek. This guy, Chris John, is one of the, the best athletes that you'll see in this game. His conditioning has been second to none. You have to say, though, if you've watched uh, many of Chris John's fights down the years, it's obvious that he's not going to be as quick as he used to be, but it's uh, still been a bit sporadic, this, so far. Good support inside the arena here for him as well. He's Got him in it, a headlock. Yeah, he's made it hard work for uh, Chris John Vettieka tonight. Continuously moving. Again, he's trying to throw that overhand right, but he can't get it to land. It's blocked before it finds its destination. And again, they were commented about this in his corner. Uh, the break for the last round is to stop throwing these wild swings and missing like he does there. His timing's looked a bit off. He's taken two good left hands there. Yeah, nice little counter from Vettieka. He's quick to come back and land the, uh, the equalizing punch with the left hook. There it is again. And he got caught with a bit with the, the uppercut. That very nearly was a peach of a shot of Rom Vettieka. He's better. And the combination's just two or three punches a game before he uh, just pulls out. 
Referee just well, losing his rag a bit yeah, here. He's having none of that. But Vedieka isn't getting dictated to here. No, he's, uh, he's like I say, he's not phased overall by the, by the challenge in front of him here tonight. And in many respects, he, he's rising to the occasion. Got to give credit to the corner. They've stemmed the, the flow of blood from Chris John's eye over the left eye. Quick to get out the way of the right hand and the left hook that was following it up. He's having to dig deep in these early rounds to, uh, to actually get into the flow of it. Yeah. Have you got it so far, Glenn? Well, I've got it. Chris John, 30. Vetieka, 28. You know, competitive fight of Vetieka and his fair amount of success. You've got to hand it to him. Stop 15 of the 25 opponents. He's beaten Vetieka, so he... He does carry a bit of weight with his shots. That's a right hand that, again, just brushed the chin. He switches in with an uppercut then, Medieka. And again, it is a nice variation of work, isn't it? From the South African. It certainly is, it certainly is. He's got a great array of shots, a great variety of shots, making life difficult here for, tonight for Chris John. Yeah, oh, great oh. shots to the body there. Left hand, right hooks into that rib cage of John, and again. <laughs> and he was super confident on the eve of coming here, despite the fact he knew that he was taking on something of a, a ring legend in chris john <laughs> backs him into the corner john for the first time in the round but again he gets tied up pretty quickly he's not had the the flow to his work no, has he not at all not at all as uh then again he's missed and as those miss the left hook comes in and finds its way home his timing is off just beginning to wonder, uh, Tim, if, if, if far the time itself has starting to catch up with, with Chris John. We've seen him in some great fights over the years. Doesn't seem to be so fluent here tonight as we normally see him. And he's second to the punch again. There's the fan club in the background. But again, again great hand speed from Vedieka. <laughs> now this will be the South Africans round, that's for sure. Sinks another left hook in. And he's quick in and out with the right hand as well. Yeah, just been a bit scrappy at times. And I think that's Vatieka make, making it scrappy at times. He, he, he doesn't want to stand and trade with Chris John. When he comes up close, wants to time up, makes things a little bit ugly. Never has he actually ended a, a title fight uh, for either this or the featherweight belt before it, before the seventh round. January 2008 against uh, Rene Caballero was the quickest finish on his career record when he finished it in seven. There's the hook and the right hand.
peppering that jab out though, uh, Vettieka. And he's keeping him on the end of it, and he can't get inside it. And again, two overhand rights then by Vettieka. Now, who knows, maybe he's just underestimated his opponent a little bit here tonight coming into this. Well, as we said, Vettieka is having his fair amount of successes. This uh, is far from the formality. Uh, it has been a really compelling night here in Australia. Vettieka is certainly having the best of the last couple of rounds. And again, you talked about the, the slowing down is the, the years go by. No, it's not a knockdown. But again, there isn't much in this plodding movement straight forward, straight into the line of fire of Eddie Ecker and that jab. He's got to do a bit more well, to try and get I out the way of it here. I think those shots there, he went wasn't given as a knockdown, but I think they're... Hurtful shots. Hurtful He's, shots. He doesn't there's look... no doubt about it. Chris John looks on very wobbly legs. He does a bit here. He's John gone. is in trouble He's here. He's gone. Vettieka senses that. He does knows it's a matter of time. Vettieka could have his man over here. Is this the end of a ring legend? Is this his last moments here? Is this going to be a defeat? That has got to be a knockdown, surely. Well, well, well. Maybe the writing was on the wall in that draw with Hasono earlier on in the year. Well, well, he did very well to survive that he round. He certainly did, and he goes back to his corner on very, very unshaky legs. Never been beaten. 48-3. A career that has spanned... 15 years moving into its 16th in 2014 Chris John but for a moment in this round it looked as if it might be coming to a close well it was a slip but that shot there he didn't have anything left did he nope it really disorientated him. He's going to have to use every bit of his experience that he's, that he's picked up over the years to get through uh, these next uh, couple of rounds here. Yeah, he got kind of hit the back of the head and it kind of threw all his equilibrium. He's ready to go. He isn't done yet. You don't have a career that he's had which has never had a defeat on it. And you don't give that up lightly, do you? You certainly don't, no. He's a very, very proud man and a great warrior to boot. Round six then. Oh. But John, you can just sense that he's getting frustrated with himself, maybe here. But whatever he's trying to do, it just isn't working. And again, he's, he misses. I don't think anybody will blame him if he uses a few uh, spoiling tactics here. Just to regather his position, get his composure back, regain a bit of lost energy from that previous round. His legs look to have recovered, though. It doesn't look as shaky as he was, Not does he? Yeah, without question. I mean, invariably, that's going to be still a bit, bit weary from the last round. He was gone. He was hurt. Very troubled legs. But like I say, he seems to have come out well. Bit of adrenaline pumping here now. Maybe the realization did just kick in. But he isn't ready to give up his titles, isn't ready to give up his belts and his unbeaten record yet. But Vedieka is doing his very best in here to make sure that that is the case. Well, you know, Tim, there comes a time in a fighter's career when you go to the well and sometimes it just isn't there anymore. You know, wherever that's going to be tonight, you seem to be coming about well. Oh, Vedieka, he was reaching a bit with that right hand, but it still landed. Just over a minute of the sixth left. We're halfway through. Have you got 
the, the fight at the moment. Well, I've got it dead even so far. Dead even. But looking at Chris John's legs, they don't look... They looking stiff. Dim tried to find the way through with that left hook. I found the route blocked off, John. Oh, and again, he there just he goes again. Unbelievable speed again. And he's just wearing his man down here again. And it's a similar end to the round here in round six. And it was to round five. He's just running out of gas, isn't he, Chris John? Needs the end to come to this round as well. He's got half a minute to survive. Oh, oh yeah. that's a massive right hand then. And he's down this time. I think the writing's on the wall here. He's up very quickly. He looks very, very unsteady. Can he get to the end of this round? Inside the final 10 seconds. Most worrying moments of his entire professional career. Right here, right now, as Vediecker goes for the finish. Can he actually stop him here before the bell? Is he going to get him down again? He's teetering on the brink of collapse, and the bell goes to save him. Well, how can he recover from this? There was no real reaction. Look at that right hand. It was a crushing blow. But once again, it just put him on unsteady legs. And he has decided enough not enough. to come out. And that is going to be enough. With Chris John unable to recommence well, he said here, Verdi Eka coming into this fight of one in America, of one and in Mexico. And I stopped Jordan in his backyard. Australia better prepare for a boxing exhibition at the end of an era, and that is what he's delivered. But great sportsmanship being shown by Chris John, who fell just short of equaling Eusebio Pedroza's record. But a big, big night here for Simpue Vetieka.